Hi Sally, here's a real close up of the wiring circuit. So I'll just point it out. I've got two wires coming from the battery, and over here is the coil. One wire from the coil, I don't know if we can even see it because they're very thin wires, is connected to one wire from the battery. The other wire from the coil is wrapped around one side of the bicycle spoke. That's the side that's got no paint on it all the way around. So that makes continuous contact just there. The other wire from the battery comes along here. That's the one that just touches the other side of the bicycle spoke where we've got the paint cleared off in two positions. And this is the wire that just brushes against it very gently. And that's the one that gives you the trouble. Trying to make contact in exactly the right point. So I'll just run that circuit again. We've got battery, wire, connected to the coil wire, which goes down and round the coil, out the other side of the coil, connected to the bicycle spoke, gently, but that's the side that's cleaned all the way around. Goes through the bicycle spoke, and then touches the wire again here, which is the wire that goes directly back to the battery. I'll just turn the bicycle spoke so you can see the shiny bit and the painted bit on the spoke on this side. So it's dark, shiny, dark, shiny, dark, shiny. So that's how it makes contact and breaks contact with that tiny little bit of wire. That piece of wire is actually just hot glued onto the edge of the coil there to hold it still. So that may be why it looks like it's connecting to the coil there but it isn't. It's just a bit of hot glue there to hold it still so we can adjust it for where it touches the bicycle spoke. see the sparks there. Because I've just been bending that it's not adjusted properly now.
It's got to be in just the right place. Can't really show you any more. So I hope that helps.